Hello, we're at the International Payment Summit in London 2013 and with me is Brett King, the well-known author of Bank 3.0 and many another thing beside and also the founder of Moven. Now Brett, you are addressing the, the audience today and it, with your, Moven is now live, um, I normally say you, know, you're, you have a physical presence but that's the exact opposite we've, of what you were talking about. You've given birth. <laughs> you've given birth. <laughs> but the, the theme of your presentation today was the disappearance of the physical world and right. the digitization of, of everything. You, know, you gave a number of really quite harrowing examples for an old guy like me. So is the question why I'm here physically or <laughs> That's true, why we're yeah. digital with moving? <laughs> That's true. Um, so I think, uh, you know, it, it, the, the conference uh, arena is still something, I, I try and do virtual mm. appearances via Videocon, um, but, you know, a lot of this stuff is about networking, mm. so, you know, there's an opportunity, um, you know, for that. But with the, as I, as I talked about in the presentation today, the change in modality of mm. banking and payments is shifting to a wholly digital bank account mm. and this is going to happen over the next uh, you know, five to seven years I would right. estimate from, for most people. Um, and interestingly emerging economies it's happening faster because mm. they don't have the infrastructure of yeah. the physical bank accounts. Mm. Uh, but the, un undoubtedly the bank account of the next generation of kids will mm. be, you know, their phone will be their bank. Right. Right? So that's where they'll have their balance, that's how they'll pay, that's how they'll move mm. money around the system. The phone will be at the centre of that. Now this, um, how this changes mm. the way you deal with the relationship and the way you deal with distribution yep. means that you have to start thinking about banking um, in, form, in terms of the utility and context of the bank account uh, and banking on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's lending or other products. What's the context? What's mm. the trigger for that product? And when does the consumer need it? And how do we facilitate that in the most frictionless manner? And when you come out with that, at the end of the day, you know, the bank is a supporting channel mm. in the future rather than a primary channel for a distribution. And the, the phrase you were using in the presentation is smarter payments, no right. faster payments, but smarter payments. But the idea, and this idea of context, yes. because for the consumer point of view, the transaction is everything. It's, it's not the, right. the money sitting in, the, in Gringrot's vaults. Right. It's, uh, it's that, and that's the key to it from your point of view. But that has implications in terms of the way banks serve those customers. Right, you know, because um, you know, it's all, it becomes about the utility. Mm. Is that if I, if I think about, if I pick up my phone or I use my bank mm. and my objective is to pay at a store or if I want to send you mm. money or if I want to buy, the, uh, buy a home or mm. buy a car, it's all about the bank being able to facilitate that transaction yeah. Yeah. Um, when and where I need it. Um, and so ultimately my assessment of a bank's ability to serve me is the way they deliver that utility. Yeah. So whenever a bank says, whoa, 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 hang on a second, that's not the way we do this. Mm. You need to come here and sign this piece of paper and maybe mm. if we like you and you're not too risky, we'll let you do that. You know, that, that's a very old way of, of sort of viewing this. Now, and now, obviously there's gonna be some compliance and process hurdles to get over to mm. create this new world, but that's where consumer behavior is driving us. But the interesting thing about that is, is, is that you know, you're basically saying that banks are going to make a decision about which, which business they want to be in. They want to be a manufacturer or a distributor. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, at Moven, we partner with mm. banks who've made that decision to be a, mm. a, a wholesaler or manufacturer, mm. um, and we sit on top of that. So, you know, whether you're going to call it white labeling or mm. something, but we sit on top of partner banks. Mm. And these are banks who've made the decision that they're better off providing a great infrastructure mm. or distribution of the product rather than actually being in yeah. the distribution business themselves. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot more banks who are going to have to make that decision because they're going to look at all the mobile technology and social media and mm. real-time instant payments and all of this demand and say, we can't make those changes quickly enough, mm. so what business are we in? Mm, exactly. Well, let's hope by next year some of them have made more of a decision. Brett, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah.